What is up guys, it is Gadget Guru HD here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get, install, and use the LMT launcher for the Nexus 4. The first thing that you guys need to do is root your phone. This launcher does require root permissions as well as super user access so if you aren't rooted this won't work with your Nexus 4. Now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get started on the installation. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and go ahead and hit that link. That link should bring you to this XDA developers page. Now we're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and until we get to the latest APK. So we see the latest APK at this time is actually a 1.5 so I'm just going to go ahead and download that. And I'll get back to you guys once it's finished downloading. Okay guys, so now that it's finished downloading, we're just going to go ahead into our downloads. We're just going to check it and hit next and install. And if it prompts you to allow inst installation of non-market apps, just go along with that and allow installation of non-market apps. So now we're just going to hit open. And we're going to grant super user permissions and request. Now, there are a bunch of different features in the LMT launcher. I personally just use the Pi, which is basic, the Pi features. Uh, I think the gestures are a bit too confusing for me. And... A cool feature, but not not really that necessary. So we're going to hit one. I want my mine uh, to run up at startup, so I'm just gonna hit one here. I want only Pi, so I'm gonna put two. And this all depends on what you want this to do. So now I want the activation area to be on both the left and the right. So I'm gonna put two. I want the color to be blue to go along with the rest of my theme that I have going on. Now I'm just going to go to the Pi, hit Pi item 1. I want Pi item 1 to be back, 2 to be home, 3 to be home long press, 4 to be menu, and that's it. So now to get this going, you're going to hit start. And then you're going to see these black things on the right and left. So just go ahead over there on the left and right. Now we can go home. And it is working. And if you guys want your setup to be exactly like mine, you guys can go ahead and check out my How to Make Your Nexus 4 Like Mine video, as well as How to Make Your Nexus 4 uh, Remove the Soft Keys or Nav Bar, whatever you want to call them. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and definitely favorite as well. If you have any issues, comments, questions, or concerns, definitely hit me up in the comments section or the Ask Guru HD section of my blog. So I'll catch you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.